Tesla has just announced the refresh Model 3, and here's everything you need to know about it. The new front and rear look absolutely amazing, and let's start off with the front of the new Project Highland Model 3. So to start off, Tesla has gotten rid of the new front fog lamps, as well as removed the little scoopy thing you see, and there's a bigger front intake for the uh, front vent. And of course, Tesla is now adding a front camera to the Model 3 refresh. For people like me who use all the cameras, especially for videos on this channel where I drag race my Model 3, well, it's going to be awesome. Overall, I really like the design changes. I think it looks a lot sleeker, and obviously it's going to look great on the road. Moving on to the side profile, the new refresh Model 3 looks pretty much the same as the old one. One thing you will notice is there are new front 18 inch and 19 inch wheels. There is a new ultra red and a new stealth gray, which is the colors that you would get out of the Berlin Gigafactory, as well as China. Moving on to the rear end of the refresh Model 3, we have the new and beautiful rear taillights that have been leaked and they go up with the trunk now, so they're attached to the trunk. Speaking of the power trunk, we now have two motors on it instead of one, so the noise is going to be a little different and it'll probably sound a little bit quieter maybe. Now moving on to the lower part of the rear end on the refresh Model 3, we have a new rear diffuser similar to that of the Model S. Now let's talk about the interior of the refresh Model 3. So there are rumors before about Tesla getting rid of the steering wheel stocks as well as ventilated seats and I'm happy to say that they are now here on the new refresh Model 3. Overall I love the new look of the seats, they're perforated for all the seats and the front seats are now finally cooled, which if you're a person like me who sweats a lot on road trips you're going to absolutely love these cooled seats of course the big striking visual change is now there is led lighting throughout the cabin the refresh dash area as well as all four doors now have led lighting in them i'm really excited for this led upgrade i think it looks great and it kind of makes the car look a little more modern it also kind of reminds me of mercedes and what they're doing with their interiors tesla has also updated the central vent that supplies ac to the front two passengers and they've also changed the material now so hopefully it's less reflective if you have white interior like myself you know about that white strip in the center it reflects light in a weird way and sometimes it kind of gets in the way of your side view mirrors. The central vent is now larger so hopefully it cools the car down more and of course Tesla has also upgraded the center screen as well. It's now brighter and more responsive with a higher refresh rate. Tesla has also shrunk the bezels on this new screen. Moving over to the steering wheel we get a brand new newly designed steering wheel. It has buttons for turning left and right as well as high beams as well as the scroll wheels that we have on the left hand side and on the right hand side we have dash cam, windshield wipers, voice control, as well as cruise control. The horn is now finally in the center, so if you're like me and kind of mash down on the horn right in the middle, then you'll like that. The center console is also redesigned and it kind of has this split door effect. I really like it. I think overall it's going to be a great upgrade. Speaking of the center console, the USB-C port inside of it now is 65 watts, which means you can fast charge a lot of things or even charge up a MacBook or something like that. I really like what Tesla is going to do with the redesign of the doors right here. The new material on the doors is going to be able to absorb sound better, so hopefully that kind of deadens the noise in the cabin. And we're also getting the double pane glass in the rear as well as in the back. Tesla is saying we're going to get a reduction of 20% in road noise, which is great to hear. Tesla is also saying there's going to be a 30% improvement in wind and ambient noise as well. Overall, I'm super excited for a quieter cabin. This new Model 3 is getting a new suspension, new springs, new dampeners, and upgraded geometry. Along with the reduction in road noise and ambient noise, we're also getting a new stereo system with 17 speakers now instead of 14, and one of them is going to be up here in the bar that splits the glass. And probably the biggest update, especially if you have passengers in the back, we're getting a rear screen now, similar to that of the Model S and Model X. The new rear screen is going to enable passengers to mess with the climate control, as well as to watch things like YouTube or Netflix. And another cool thing is you can connect two Bluetooth headsets to that rear screen, so each person in the back can have their own audio. The new refresh Model 3 is also more aerodynamic. The coefficient of drag has dropped from 0 0.225 to now 0 0.219, which means the Model 3 is also going to get an improvement in range. The rear wheel drive Model 3 is going to be 346 miles of range, while the long range is going to be 423 miles. Pricing to this Model 3 is going to be similar to what it is now, which is great to hear, but unfortunately for me, there's not going to be a performance model right away. I wonder if Tesla is going to be working on a Plaid. Deliveries are going to be happening very soon. For Europe, it's going to be in October, and I would imagine for the US, it's going to be late September or October. As of recording, the US side hasn't been updated yet, so I don't know if they're going to be updating the prices or changing them or what have you. But make sure you're subscribed because I'm really excited for this Project Highland Model 3 refresh, and I'm going to be ordering one as soon as the website gets updated. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this refresh Project Highland Model 3 and if you're going to get one for yourself. For me personally, I'm super excited to get this upgrade. I really love the look of the new seats and I'm extremely excited for the ventilation. Thank you guys again for watching and stay tuned because we're going to have a ton of updates on this new refresh Model 3. And of course, we're going to take it to the track where we're going to race things like Lamborghinis, Camaros, Hellcats, Corvettes, you name it. And if you want to see how the current Model 3 performance does against those cars, be sure to check out those videos on my channel. All right, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon.